Like I was made small. That's when I feel small. Made small. Felt small. I feel small. Not really angry, just tired. People don't know what specific minority groups go through. They don't know like the struggles or the things that they have in mind but don't get to share out to the world publicly. Um, some of us don't have a voice or a place to raise a voice because we're always being shut down and always like put it like under under because like they like we're not like important enough to be able to raise up and talk about issues that arise. Our goal at Story Arc is to create a safe space for all voices to be heard, where youth from all different kinds of backgrounds and all different kinds of religions and all kinds of different points of view can share their stories with each other and have their voices amplified and heard. Everybody has a story that they want to tell the world. And I feel like this is an amazing place for no matter what you look like or your ideas, you get to tell your story. Being involved in Story Arc helped me branch out, helped me learn how to speak my voice. Story Arc has helped me not only have like a community to talk to about this, but also a platform. We can tell our own stories in our own ways, and Stephanie will just be there to like support us in any way. And like you know, she wasn't there to like tell us how to tell our story. She was just there to like amplify that. I found like the podcast community and like I use the podcast to show like my voice and like just to get away from the problems that's been happening at school. Stillwater Area Public Schools um, became very involved in a statewide initiative called Reimagine Minnesota and what Reimagine Minnesota is attempting to do um, statewide in our public schools is eliminate predictable opportunity and achievement gaps. Two of those strategies, strategy E is about authentically elevating student voice. The other strategy, strategy F, is eliminating adult behaviors that contribute to these predictable outcomes. So the way to gain insider's eyes is through the student's experience. That's what Story Arc provides us the opportunity to do. Through their creative writing process, we're able to um, work with students in a psychologically safe environment and hear those stories and elevate those stories and empower our students to be a part of the solution. So what's important to us at Story Arc is that everything that we do is student initiated and student led. That what I like to say is I'm the door opener. My job is to open the door and to keep it open so that students can walk in and find the support, the resources, and the nurturing that they need in order to tell their tales and to share their experiences. Students and youth get to be in charge and where we get to be, you know, the ones that are doing everything, which is so fun and I just feel like it's an amazing opportunity. It's important to help students, you know, investigate these things so that they can hopefully develop these skills and then use them. This is just the beginning and like maybe like five years from now if we're still going on with podcast group like we can show like students or children to like know how to use their voices and like probably know how to do do something when when they're like at school because of the podcast that we're doing right now. In this world where there is so much acrimony and so many people talking over each other not even talking over each other but yelling over each other that the only way we're going to learn to collaborate with each other, the only way we're going to be able to communicate with each other is if we remember the art of storytelling.